hello, hello. Well, as you can see, I'm doing a tag today. Um, I was tagged by Sincerely Sir I C. Thank you so much for tagging me. This is going to be so much fun. Um, I will link her video below. And uh, so this is going to be, um, well, let me give you the backstory. Now, the way that Sarai explained it in her video, and, and forgive me if I, if I mess it up, but um, we hear a lot about, you know, trendy makeup and seasonal makeup, um, but this is not that kind of video. This is basically in mind of someone who is young or doesn't have a lot of expendable income or maybe just doesn't want to have all the colors of the moment. Um, this is going to be colors and products that you can use 12 months out of the year, four seasons out of the year, and you won't look weird. You won't look like, you know, the person that's rocking the bright neon lip in the middle of winter. You won't look like that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with blush. Uh, both of the blush picks that I have are drugstore. And these are actually blushes that I grab all the time. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. These are kind of my two go-tos when I don't know what to do. And it doesn't matter what season it is. I will. I still wear them. So the first one is this is the Milani Baked Blush. This is in Berry Amore. And when I first saw it, I, I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to wear it, but I just grabbed it more often and more often. And that's a very heavy swatch. But it is just, it's not even a berry, because to me, berry is bright. This is definitely a neutral, kind of a mauve nude, I guess. And then the other one I have is the Physician's Formula Happy Booster Blush in Natural. And so, like that. And you can see one's darker than the other. Of course, I usually have to do two passes. One's a little more pink than the other. Um, but those are my two kind of go-to when I don't know what to do. Um, the next thing, now I always say when you have a, if you have a black, a brown, and a dark navy blue eyeliner, you're set for all months of the year. All the crazy colors, um, that, you know, I, I love those too, but how often do you wear them? You wear them for maybe two months out of the year. Now, um, Physicians Formula has of course the Shimmer Strips Custom Enhancing Eyeliner Trio and I only have two of the three uh, with me but it has a brown, a navy blue, and a black. All of them um, they have different ones for different eye colors. This one just to me seemed like the most complete kit. So um, I get so I have those and I love those all the time. They have and I've always been like that. Um, I just loved that those were all encompassed in one kit. And then, for, I have two lip glosses, and they are both e.l.f. Um, if you are not, if you are not new to my channel, you know my love of e.l.f., and if you are new to my channel, yeah, e.l.f. is a big theme, a big theme. But these are, this is my favorite, this is Goddess. It is a neutral, but it has like a little pink shimmer, almost like an opalescence, um, and it looks good over everything. Um, you can put it over a, 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 a lip, any color of lip liner, lipstick, and it works. And then the other is watermelon. And it is just a, I don't even want to call it baby pink. This is like your lips pink. Um, but it's one of those that goes with everything. And those are only a dollar a piece, so they're drugstore too. So far everything's been drugstore. Um, I do have a few things that are not drugstore, and we'll get into those right now. Um, so we'll con continue with the theme of lips. Um, I have three. The first one is the Tarte Lip Surgeons in Exposed. It is just a kind of a nudie color. It kind of has a little bit of a mauve, t uh, uh, excuse me, a mauve tinge to it, 
but it just, it looks, I put it on with a lot of different things, whether I'm being natural or a little more dressed up, and it works. I d now, I only got this for Christmas, but this is something that I would wear all year long. Um, the next is Je Ne Sais Quoi, and this is an uh, IT Cosmetics Vitality Lip Flush. And what it looks like is chapstick. I mean, you would think, but you put it on and it becomes just this really pretty, just kind of a your lips color. And I love stuff like that because your lips colors are, they, they are more flattering and universal than anything else. And then we have Birthday Suit. This is a wet and wild color. And it's just a nude. You see that? And the only lip liner that I have um, is the Jordana Easy Liner for lips in Rock and Rose. This is the only one that I have, but it is a good color, and it is pretty much the color that my lips naturally are. So I can wear this color with anything pretty much 12 months out of the year. Now when it comes to eyeshadows, I have a few. Um, I want to do nail polish first. So a great nude lip, or excuse me, nude nail, goes with everything, and you can wear it all the time, and it doesn't make you look weird. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last in Private Viewing. I always say that if you have a nude, a red, and a funky rock and roll color, you're set. So, here's my red. This is Jordana. It is in Ruby Slippers. <coughs> And for my rock and roll color, I usually have um, a very dark purple or a very dark teal or something to that effect. So this is uh, Cynthia by Zoya. It looks kind of black, but in reality it's a very, very blackened teal. Now the last thing I have is eyeshadows. I'm going to do um, a couple of options. First thing I have is Silent Treatment. This is a Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio. And depending on the way you configure these, they can be used for casual, dressy, date night, every day. Um, and they will get you through 12 months out of the year. And then for a little higher end option, a very similar option, this is the It Cosmetics Pretty in Smoke Trio. Same thing. I, we I wear this any time during the year and it always looks awesome. Now for a little larger, um, if you wanted something that had your neutrals but you know could get you kind of around, you know, you have your neutrals and then you have these colors which down here these are more of your summery shades but it's good to mix them in. This is the Sparkle Till Morning palette from Wet n Wild. And I'm still seeing those out and about. Now the last thing I have, um, this is comparable, I have been told, to the Urban Decay Naked palette. This is the Mally City Chick in the Buff Shadow palette. It has almost, it has just about every neutral you could possibly think of. Uh, that big square is an eyeshadow base and it has a double sided brush and a very big mirror. So that would be, you know, if you wanted to just get everything all together, these are just neutrals, and that's what I want to deal. If that's a little bit out of your price range, you can always go with the Physician's Formula Nude Eyes Palette, and that has also been compared to the Urban Decay Naked Palette as a drugstore option. But these are the things that I gravitate towards all the time, and they are beautiful and appropriate 12 months out of the year. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and I meant to say, um, you can always follow me on Instagram or uh, Twitter. I'll have that stuff below, but it is the same name that it is on YouTube. And I always mean to mention it, but it just didn't happen. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Uh, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, you have a great day. Bye now.